Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from Cat Lady Gina. Free 1.2 cubic foot microwave. Hi Gina, is this still available? Yes it is. We really need one. Could you please deliver it to Nina? Badly. Wow, won't deliver for someone in need? No, I have shit to do. It's free. And there it is, like I've said so many times, when something is free, you need to do the footwork to get it. This next one is by Slothnip. Hey, thanks for getting in contact and glad to hear you're interested in helping us in a fan of our shop. To give a breakdown of what we'll need, we're currently redesigning our website and therefore require the following. 4K quality shots of our individual products. This will be a still frame and all shot will be taken from the same angle. 4K quality shots of our shop in general. So this will be from the outside, capturing the design, customers on the street, looks of the salt beef from the window, as well as more importantly, inside the shop. Snapping shots of the staff working, the production of our bagels, bread, and cake we make. Along with this, there can be some videography involved, if you feel inspired, but predominantly, our focus is on the photography. This will need to be done over a couple of days. We have a lot of interest from others too and aren't looking to pay anyone for this as we're happy for them to add this to their showreel and website as compensation. Of course we'll provide you with food and drink during the day and some goods to take home as a further treat. If this is of interest to you, please, before we speak over the phone, send me a photo of a food item of your choosing, preferably a bakery item, so I can get a closer feel of the quality for your camera work. I can see from your website that you've got a nice touch when it comes to food products, which is great, and I'm sure you can come up with some creative ideas to help us further. I look forward to hearing from you and your thoughts. Since pick, looking for better quality than this. Yeah, I don't work for free, or for a few bagels, as much as I do enjoy yours. It's honestly pretty gross that you're expecting someone to provide you with 2 plus days work in exchange for maybe 30 pounds worth of food. And the sad reality is that someone will probably see this as a good opportunity. It's a hard no from me. I'm not really sure how far the nothing will get them, but unfortunately it's like the person said, there are some people that will probably see this as a good deal. It's definitely not, and anybody who sees this or receives it should run far, far away. This next one is from Jed Crandy. $50? Lowest I can do is $65. $50 right now, please. You know, since you said please, I'm pretty sure that they'll accept $50 in an alternate reality. This next one is by The Little Hungry Otter. $60, Hyper Tough Air Compressor. Hi there, this still available? Yes, it's still available. It's brand new and no, never been opened, still sealed, shut with factory tape. It's perfect condition. Why are you selling it? Because I don't need it. I bought it to fill up my car tires, but no longer have it, so I no longer need it. My car got wrecked, unfortunately. What kind of deal would you make me on it? The deal of a brand new air compressor that's already 40% less than it sells for in the store? I don't have any need to sell it, so I can't make any further deals on this item. I'm sorry. But if you're interested and you look like you'll see used ones selling at a higher price B to crap, <laughs> this one hasn't even had the seal broken on the box. I've just had it sitting there. Your seller for 72 on Amazon comes with a warranty. It's not an Amazon product, it's a Walmart proprietary product. It's already 60, so now you're bitching that you're still getting it less. No way, I'm not selling it to you. Have a good day. I don't want to pay retail for something without a warranty. Amazon has a warranty and it's shipped to my door. That's why I asked for a deal, otherwise, when accounting for drive time and gas, someone is paying a lot more for yours because the added expense. Sends pictures. Do you have to drive to Walmart? Do you have to pay for gas or do you ask them for a discount for drive time and gas? Do you realize how stupid that sounds? It sells for over 100 on Amazon. If you went through the trouble of finding it for 60 and didn't buy it right then, you're stupid for wasting that effort thinking you could scam me. As I said, I don't need the money, so I'll hold on to it. 
What, do you need me to buy you dinner and shoes also? Don't ask for discounts because you're a cheap ass. It's 72 on Amazon delivered with warranty. I can't help it if you buy things at full retail and beg others to buy it. And how would I know the compressor isn't stolen? I will pass. I think I would be in a better place buying from a retail store. Many thanks. Have a nice day. You know, if they were just going to end up going and buying from a retail store in the first place, then why did they need to keep going on and on and on trying to get the lower price? Because in fact, we all know they can't get it from another store at a lower price. This next one is from Chucho Winnie. Can you deliver? No, sorry. I would pay more. I would if I could. I don't have a truck. Free pickup, please. I get a guy in a truck. I'm donating it. What do you mean? You want the stove for free? Yes, sir. I'm donating it. <laughs> well, no. They claim they're donating the stove. My guess is they're donating that stove right into their kitchen and that's why they want it free. This next one is by Melly Malou. Anyone giving away a washing machine but needs to deliver to Lachine? I don't understand it. Like these people, these beggars, these these idiots, that's the bottom line, that think that they can get someone to deliver a free item. I just, I don't understand what the disconnect in their brain is. This next one is from Enjoy Flip. 40? 90. 35. If I didn't agree to 40, why would I agree to a value even lower? People seem to think that this stuff is really worth something. I'm sorry, but I don't feel some gaming system that's probably so old. Bad graphics. It's not worth what you're asking. Go on eBay and look up sold listings for each thing listed in the description. The console itself sells for more than what you're offering. Sends pig. Foolish you compare some shit online. It's not the same, you greedy people. How is it foolish to compare online? What, to see what other people are paying for the like item? It's the same thing that pawn shops do and probably a lot of other places that deal with selling used goods. Clearly you don't value research. And our final one is by Linwood Jackson 55 I thought I'd share a story about something that happened to me a little pre-pandemic. I was riding my motorcycle home from work one day and decided to pull into an AMPM to get a cold drink. I park along the side of the building and a green Suburban pulls up next to me. They roll the windows down and I can see a man, woman, and a bunch of kids in the back seats. Hey man, can I get $20 for gas in my truck? It seemed like a reasonable enough request. Dude's got a bunch of kids and a gas guzzler so he was probably just trying to get home. Same as me. So I said, sure, what pump? He tells me the pump and I start walking towards the store. Do you think I could get some water too? Yeah, sure. And I kept walking. I just put my hand on the door and he says, Make it $40. I turned around to look at him in hopes that he was just kidding around and lo and behold he wasn't. And now you get nothing. I got back on my bike and rode off. Some people. It makes you wonder what was going through this guy's head, outside of the fact that he found someone willing to help him out so he thought he'd take advantage of them as well. But the best part is, the only person he really took advantage of was himself because he ended up with nothing. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload, and drop a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and helps new people find my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.